Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter Weld On Disc Brake Actuator with the lunette ring and the five position adjustable drop channel. It has a 20,000 pound gross towing weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to synchronize your trailer's disc brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. And this one has a lunette ring up front here that'll couple with a pintle hitch. And the diameter on this lunette ring is three inches. Now this hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer's brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. Basically what happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push your trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. And with this surge brake system, the actuator is then triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows down. Basically, the actuator will telescope. This outer portion will go inside, so it'll telescope and apply force to the master cylinder that's in the back here, which in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. Now, this one is a unique roller design. It'll reduce the resistance during telescoping to create a straight line movement. If you notice here, there's two rollers here, two down here, and also what's nice is on the end of each roller they do have a grease circ fitting that'll allow you to hook a grease gun to and pump grease in there to lubricate those rollers. Now this one here, let me just zoom in, this one has a nice prime finish on the outer casing and then the inner slide is a painted finish. The channel on this you can see, it is an offset adjustable channel, has five different mounting positions for the coupler. And this one here gives you a built-in drop, which is great for use on tall trailers. This is a sturdy, steel, durable steel construction. It'll resist bending in any jackknife situations. Also included with this, if you notice, you just unhook it here, but you'll see this chain that's connected to this lever here. This is your breakaway cable, and it is required by law because it'll prevent a trailer runaway situation. Basically, what you'll do is you'll take this chain with the hook on the end here, and run this to your tow vehicle and hook it onto the tow vehicle. And then what happens is in case this comes detached from your tow vehicle, it will pull this chain, which will activate the lever, which would again apply pressure to the master cylinder back here, which would apply the brakes in a runaway situation. <clears throat> now also included on this actuator, on the very back here, let me spin this, this is where it'll connect to your brake lines, but if you'll notice under the shield here, it has an electric reverse lockout solenoid, and the reason that's on there, that'll let you back up without actuating your trailer brakes. Basically what happens is this electric reverse lockout is automatically activated when you shift your tow vehicle into reverse. The solenoid wires into your trailer connector, which will connect to your tow vehicle, so that it can detect when you're in reverse. So when you go to reverse in your vehicle, that solenoid ensures that the hydraulic actuator does not activate your trailer's brakes, thus allowing you to back up your vehicle. Now to use this solenoid, this lockout solenoid, you do have to have either a five-way flat, six-way round, or a seven-way trailer connector. Also, if you notice, we mentioned it has this protective shield around the solenoid to protect any damage to it. And this is a weld-on installation. It is designed to fit on straight three-inch wide trailer tongues. Application again, this is for trailers with disc brakes. Gross towing weight capacity is 20,000 pounds. Maximum tongue weight capacity of 2,000 pounds. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter weld-on disc brake actuator with the lunette ring and the five position adjustable drop channel. It has a 20,000 pound gross towing weight capacity.